This is my take on a Deathly Hallows lamp. I'm not going to pretend to know too much about Harry Potter or the lore behind all of this, but after being asked to build one of these for a friend, I did a little homework and I was pretty confident that I could come up with something interesting. To add some detail and character to this lamp, I wanted to add a pretty heavy bevel along the inside edge of everything, and the way I have it drawn up here is not quite going to work. So what I'll need to do is have three 60 degree miters on each of the corners, that way that bevel will be continuous all the way around. Here I'm doing a rough mock-up, trying to determine how wide I want these pieces to be. So I have a couple concerns with this project. For that reason, I decided to take some scrap and make a miniature version that I can do some testing on. So here I set my table saw blade to about 30 degrees, and I use this jig on my table saw fence that allows me to stand the pieces up vertically, which will give me a 60 degree bevel on each edge. Once all my pieces are cut, I put them together. The miters look good. So now I run them through the table saw, putting that bevel on the front edge. I'm gonna use the tape method to glue up this little triangle here. This will be plenty strong for this little test piece as well as the final lamp itself. My main concern with this build was figuring out a way to get this aluminum pipe down through the center of this triangle without destroying the entire triangle itself. So I ended up going to the drill press using a Forstner bit and to be honest I really didn't think this was going to go well. Despite my doubts, this actually worked out really well. Now the Forstner bit I was using is just a tiny bit smaller than the aluminum shaft. So I just took a large round file and cleaned up those edges until I got a nice friction fit. Now that I've alleviated my main concern with our little test version, it's on to the final product. I have my three main pieces milled flat and ripped to equal width. Now I'm just going to use my crosscut sled with a stop to make sure I cut them all to the same exact length. Since I was super happy with the miters on the little test piece, I'm going to duplicate the exact process. Set my table saw blade to about 30 degrees, and I'm not sure why, but my digital gauge is reading upside down, so it's showing 60. But either way, I'm going to make sure my little reference block is nice and square here, 
get my pieces clamped in vertically, adjust my fence, and make all my cuts. Again here, I'm gonna be cutting this bevel on the front edge and I have my table saw blade set around 30 degrees, but this doesn't have to be anything specific. You can really play around with some different angles and different adjustments and just come up with something that you think looks good. I need to mark center on this bottom piece for the aluminum tube to go into. So I'm using one of my side pieces as a straight edge, butting up my bottom piece to that and then using that as a reference point uh, for my tape measure as well. Here at the drill press, I use a Forstner bit that's slightly larger than the aluminum tube, and then I come back after that with a smaller size. I do this so that I'll have a little lip on the inside for the aluminum tube to sit on, as well as a gap around the outside in case I want to epoxy it in or use some of the small wire I have for attaching the inner circle later on. Next, I need to put a little notch in the bottom of this aluminum tube so that once the wiring is in there for the lamp and I slide it down into that base, it doesn't pinch the wire and cause any issues. So I just drill a simple hole in the drill press, uh, bring it over to the vise, lock it in, and put a little end mill and a Dremel just to open up that hole and then come back with a file and break any of the sharp edges. This lamp was sort of an accessory for a much larger build I was doing for a friend of mine, which you can see in the background of a lot of these shots. So I started to run out of space. So I used a scrap piece that was nice and flat and clean, brought it over to the table saw and used that as a tabletop for this uh, tape glue up number two. At this point, I have the triangle finished, the aluminum tube inserted, as well as the lamp cord is run inside with the lamp fixtures on top and a plug has been installed on the back end. Now on to the second big challenge of this, figuring out a way to get this circle effect on the inside of the lamp. The plan the whole time was to use the same braided lamp cord and create some kind of circle. I picked up some thin black jewelry wire from the local craft store and my first idea was to have two or three attachment points on the inside of the triangle to where I could make circular loops with the lamp cord and use the black wire to keep them cinched together.
I wasn't too happy with the way this was turning out. I just couldn't quite get an even looking circle. So on to round number two. I found a paint can that was approximately the right size for the inside of the triangle. So my plan here was to do kind of a three stack loop with the lamp cord, keeping everything together with that thin black wire and then installing it as a, its own separate little ring. Um, unfortunately, the paint can was just a little too big. But moving up to this lip right where the lid is on the paint can, that ended up being just the right size. Once I had my rope circle looking pretty good, I just cleaned up the tail end and tied it into the plug part behind the lamp. Uh, after that, I just put some black tacks on the inside to attach the ring, and that was it. 